take one. Hey guys, I'm Justin Spicer. I'm here today um, making a part two for my Digitech synth wall review. This is going to be showing off the um, some distorted sounds with the synth wall. So I have like the same guitar and everything plugged into the Y62X2 again. And yeah, I'm just going to show off some distorted sounds. So this is a sound I call my personal overdrive. This is the neck pickup of the guitar. And now I'm going to kick into the uh, the first setting on the synth wall, which is the envelope up setting. This is all my knobs at noon. So that's the control all the way down, so you're hearing a lot of guitar. Now the control's all the way up. Control at noon, range all the way down. All the way up. That sensitivity all the way up. Sensitivity like at 3 o'clock. Noon. 3 o'clock. All the way down. Okay, this is with the sensitivity all the way down, the control all the way up, and the range all the way down. So you're going to need headphones for that. <laughs> Alright, so now that I'm actually in tune, we'll go on to the next setting, which is the envelope down. Turn the range all the way up. That was a bad mistake. Turn the range all the way down. Control all the way down. Back to the neck pickup. That's control all the way down. Now this is all the way up. You know what actually uses a ton of um, Ottawa guitar sounds or envelope filter guitar sounds is um. There's this movie out there called Cannibal Holocaust, and um, the movie, as you can imagine, is absolutely disgusting, and, and I mean, it's a good, as a movie, it's good. You know, plot line, everything else, it's good, but the content of it may just make you throw up. But the soundtrack, the soundtrack is actually really good, and a, a lot of the songs um, actually feature a lot of synth-type sounds, including that... Um, that uh, Ottawa thing. So, um, if you wish, check that out. The, the name of the composer is Riz Ortolani. R I Z O R Talani. So, um, anyway, I like the soundtrack for the movie, and the movie's, um. <laughs> okay, so the next setting is like, um. That's the set, that's the, um, Control and range at noon and sensitivity all the way down. <laughs> Alright, so this is um, the synth one setting with all my knobs at noon.
range all the way up. Sensitivity all the way up. Control all the way up, so it's like all my knobs are up at noon. Control all the way down. See, in the last video I did the original, um, I totally forgot the name of the composer, but the original Hall of the Mountain King thing. There, I just did Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth. The difference? Just a few notes. That's the same. That being Rick Wakeman. It's only those two notes, so... Anyway, I don't know what I'm getting at here, but that's that. Okay, I just totally tried to learn that when the guitar is tuned like half a step lower than normal. <laughs> Alright, so that's that, and this is like um, the synth 2 setting with all my knobs at noon. That's in the Resort Lani soundtrack. This is like everything all the way up. That's like a strange kind of fuzz type thing. Range all the way down, everything else all the way up. Ah, that's what the control knob does. So that was like the sensitivity all the way down and the control on the range all the way up. So now I'm going to bring everything back to noon and go through the filter one. That's a little close to the Resort Alani.
don't know, maybe I'll just play on this guitar throughout the entire weekend just to mess my bass player up. <laughs> anyway, so that's that was like me feeling under the rage knob. The control all the way up. Which, and now that, that was just me shifting it from all the way up to all the way down, which uh, with overdrive doesn't really seem to do anything. <laughs> Okay, so that did something. This is the sensitivity all the way down, everything else new. All the way up. So, those are two completely different sets, and you get everything else in between. Vulture number two. That's the range all the way down. Bring the control all the way down with it. So control all the way down, range all the way up. Gonna go to the very last setting, which is the Ottawa. I know. So that was just like messing around with some of the knobs. The last setting I had was the control all the way up. The range all the way down. And the um the sensitivity all the way up. And as I discussed in the last video, on this setting the control is kinda of like a it, it adds or takes away bass. The sensitivity, just like, um, just the speed. Anyway, and the range just makes it... Makes it that and that. So, now that that's some overdrive, I'm going to show you some distortion. And I'll just quickly go through all the settings again. So, um... Very noisy as you can tell, but I'm still gonna go to the neck pickup anyway, so this is my distortion. Ottawa, no, the uh, envelope number one. That sounds kind of groovy. Yeah. 
Number two. Ouch! Ah, blowing out one set of headphones at a time. Alright, number three of the envelope one setting. As you know, synth one. That's like live on stage, live at the uh, uh, the garden or something. This has been Corkadil, the All Night Pounders. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm just gonna move on. This is the next setting. Next setting. That's heavy. Next setting. Which doesn't sound too terribly different from the last one. And this is the Ottawa. So right there, it sounds like a cocked wall, which is nice. If you want to know what that setting is, that's like the control and the... Actually, let's try the control all the way up. Yeah, I like that more. So that's like the sensitivity all the way down, the control all the way up, and the range all the way down. All the way... Yeah. Down. So, um, I guess that's that's about all I can go through with this pedal. Um, I'll definitely do a review of it once I get the third hand feature. Um, for those of you who are just tuning into this video as opposed to my part one, um, the third hand 
is this product being made by this company called Tone in Progress, and it's it's built kind of like a Wawa pedal, but the way it's designed is it has like this thing coming out of it. It's like this wire type thing, and it has this it has this um, th fixture that I can attach to any any potentiometer on your on your foot pedals, and you just take the knob off your foot pedal and then put the clippy thing on the potentiometer, and when you rock the pedal, it spins the knob for you. Um, I don't know, Paul Gilbert has one, and there's like a video of him using one on his flanger, but I definitely want to get one and put it on on this pedal and just to, just to see what it sounds like, and you know, that, I guess that's what I'm looking for in terms of you know, synthy guitar sounds and whatnot. Being able to control it like a keyboarder would with their um, with their wheels and stuff. Or, or keyboards. So anyway, I'm Justin Spicer. If you liked this, subscribe to my channel. And if you also liked this, feel free to get the Digitex synth while they're like, um... I got mine used for $50. It, it's actually a funny story. I went to get to, I went to Daddy's Junkie Music. Not Guitar Center, God. But I um, went to Daddy's, and they were um they were just about to close it, they were gonna close in five minutes and I had fifty more dollars to spend I got like I I got a chorus pedal and an overdrive pedal and I had fifty more bucks I was just like I was looking around I was just like is there anything else I could buy so I look in the in the counter and they had they had you know all their pedals in one I was like hmm 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 then I read Digitex Synthwa I'm like what does that do so I'm like can I try out the Synthwa so I grab it. And I, I had an SG, and I, and I just plugged into, like, a Marshall or something. And I, I turned it on. I forgot which setting it was, but I just played a few notes. And it was... It was sick. I just, I just did, like, maybe a couple licks. It was like... Or maybe, like... You know, something like that. And I was just like... I'll take it! You know, shouting from where I was sitting at the amp. So, um, I forced them to remain open for like another five minutes just so I can get the pedal. But anyway, um, so that's used for $50, but new, I think they're maybe around 70 bucks in wa. I'll be able to tell you exactly how much they are. So, at Musician's Friend, they're like $90, and at, um, God forbid, Guitar Center, they're $55. Don't get your thing to Guitar Center. You're wasting your fucking wasting your money. So anyway, um, I'm just in Spicer. If you like this, subscribe. If you don't like this, go away.